What's up YouTube, BMR here, and today we have an expensive unboxing. We actually have several unboxings, and these have been the most expensive auto shells I have ever purchased. So it's getting to the point now, I've noticed there's been a very large creep on the auto scale market, especially for older models, because our, our hobby is just growing exponentially. I mean, the amount of people that have joined since the pandemic has just been insane. So it's everything naturally, it's gonna be getting swooped up off the market, and so things are gonna become more rare, and so they're going to demand a higher value. So anyways, these shells are ones that uh, they're very expensive, but they're not ones that I expected to be as expensive as they are. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this unboxing. All I've done is gone ahead and cut open all the boxes. So that way it makes it quicker on camera. I'm not fumbling around with scissors. I hate when people are doing that. So anyways, let's go ahead and dive in. Oh man, I love ordering from Japan. Another thing I want to say, I want to give a shout out to my seller, actually the person I bought this from, Coombs Toy Barn. They also go by Bears. I'll actually put a little screenshot up of their eBay page. But anyways, these are a very trusted seller. They have expensive, rare auto scales, but they always pack the hell out of the boxes, as you can see, and they do a very good job with it. So it is expensive. The shipping's like $25 too, but whatever, it's fine. This is really funny. Not knowing what any of this says, the context or anything like that. What what, what am I looking at? Is this a rest records or something? They almost look like mug shots, kind of. Some of these guys, they do not look happy. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's go ahead and dive into this. Oh my gosh, there they are. Look at the three babies. All right, let's go ahead, set this to the side, pull these out. And I think the other ones will be boxed like this, so maybe we'll just go ahead and pull those out. What is this they put in here? Ah, this is them. They're, I guess, advertising for them. Go ahead, toss that up if you guys want to see them. Anyways, all right, and then let's go ahead and open this other box as well, just so that way we can have those ones, because the other box is from a different seller, but these ones are from Coon. So let's check this stuff out. Cool. All right, since this one is the most transparent, we're gonna go ahead and open this. And this one was actually the most expensive auto scale. And I did not know this one exists. Check it out, guys. It's a Group A R32 and it's white. Hang on one second. So this is my R32 that I use in all my videos and everything, but I didn't know there was a brother or a sister shell to it. And see this one, it has a slightly different body kit on it. So it's gonna be slightly different from mine, it has a slightly different front end. And I just think this is bad. I love seeing stuff like this. So this is one I had never seen before. So it's very, very rare. And this thing was $130, 130 US dollars expensive and that was after negotiating with them getting the price talked down a little bit and uh anyway so plus shipping too shipping was expensive this one i it was i shipped it all by itself decided late that i wanted to get it but anyways that one's going to be beautiful and i'm going to take all these out at the end and i'll put them all on the table and so that way you guys can appreciate them all at the same time but we also have this one, another R32. You guys are gonna see a lot of R32s today. So this one's a nice one. It's one that I, it's not my favorite, but you know, I'm trying to complete the Group A collection. I'm trying to complete the R32 collection. I want all of them. There's five more that I have not purchased yet, and they're all expensive. Those ones are all gonna be around $200 to get those ones. So we'll see when we get them, but one day, oh, this one looks great. So like I said, I'm gonna take these out of the box in a minute, but oh wow, look at, this is another one. It's just like this one. I didn't like them as much. You know, I was more buying them to collect them, but uh, wow, that thing looks really, really good in person. I think it's gonna look amazing once we actually have it off camera or actually out of the box and you know, on camera. And this one, this guy is pretty rare. He was expensive too, since it's in an auto scale box. This thing was a hundred dollars, I believe, somewhere in there. So anyways, woo. It's great. It's not part of the Group A collection, but it's a R32 and it's produced by Kyosho, so I want it. Right? Right. All right. In our last box here, we have more random writing that I can't understand. Shout out and oh yeah. Ooh. I got it, boys. The STP. So I have the other one that's this style, but it's not STP. I forget what the branding is on it. I mean, I'll do a video in the future where I'll have all my R32s out at once, but yeah, this thing is sweet. I love STP. I mean, this, this is just a sick body. This thing looks good. It's clean. This is not going to be one that I drive. That will be one I keep for display purposes. This thing looks good. So let's go ahead, pull these out of the box, and I'll circle back to you guys. All right, so there we have it, my five new auto scales. And this one over here 
is a very unexpected surprise. This thing is a delight. Oh my gosh. This thing is just gorgeous in this Nismo sticker. I love the color and look of it. White, red, and blue. Oh, this thing's bad. I think I'm going to end up using this and it's number 23. I mean, come on. This thing is dope. Really, really beautiful. This one is nice too, but you know, like I said, it's more of one that I just got to collect. But, oh, I just love these R32s. I think they're so beautiful, and Kyosho does such a good job with their auto scales. I mean, the detailing is impeccable on these things, and here is the baddest one. Oh, my gosh, and here she is next to my other body. It's crazy to see the differences. You know, it's very subtle, like, you know, this front lip and these fake clips, these body clips up here, and then just, just all of it. Like, the window tinting, too. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a lot more transparent than this one is, and so... It's just dope. I love mini Z's. I love auto scales. I'm not to the point yet where I personally paint my own. I do have several R32 white bodies and a few others that I will paint in the future. But for now, I'm just collecting auto scales. And like I said, guys, I have five more. I have to get the Reebok number one or number three. Either way, there's a variation of the Reebok that I need to get. I do have the Reebok, but there's a lighter color version of it. There's a Calsonic one that's metallic blue. That's one I need to get. There is... A old school Calsonic one, I think. I That's one of them. And then I need to get the Red Pearl one. If you guys have seen the Red Pearl one, I think Beaver has it. Beaver's Hobby Channel has that Red Pearl one. And then finally, the fifth one is the Unicorn Eleanor, the black R32 from Initial D. That one, I actually had a line on it uh, a few weeks ago and the guy just ghosted me. He stopped responding. I thought we were going to buy it and he offered me his entire collection. I didn't want the entire collection. I just wanted that one body and he ghosted me after that. I quit responding, so that sucked. Oh, one other thing. Uh, this was in the box with this guy. So that's kind of cool, you know, old school stickers. And another thing that I pulled out from this guy when I pulled him out of the packaging and came with all this stuff fell out of it. Kind of cool that there's a old school little Kyosho booklet. This thing's so stiff it just popped out of my hands it's like it's spring loaded. But anyways, look at the controller they have on display. Old school antenna. So anyways, just it's cool. You know, this was left in there. Oh boy. Oh shoot. This might be a great resource. Oh man, I'm gonna have to actually look more in depth on this. I didn't realize it was a bunch of mini stuff too. Cool. Anyways, so that's going to be about it for this video. I'm going to stop rambling and going on in circles. But anyways, I, I love my mini Z bodies. We're, our collection is growing. Like I said, we have five more to collect and then I'm done. Then I have all the R32. So I think I'll do, if you guys want to, let me know down in the comments below if you guys would like to see my R32 collection, my entire collection of all of them that I have right now. Like I said, I have most of them and there's a surprising number of R32s that are official Kyosho licensed, not ones that were painted by somebody else. I mean, these are actual Kyosho bodies. So I just love them. They're gorgeous. I mean, look at these detailing. I didn't even notice this on the the, the wing, on the, I mean, on the rear view mirror. That, that's nuts. You know, little things like this. I love auto skills. Just looking at all the little details on it. And then especially when you have a bad little chassis sitting under and it just, all of it looks good. Because I love the way RC chassis look. I've always thought they look really cool. I always like drifters without a body on them. I think the cars look so cool by themselves. But then you put a, a shell like this on top of them and it just takes it to the next level. Depending on, you know, whatever your unique whatever your unique style is, whatever, however you want it customized or whatever, you know. That's why I love this hobby is customization. Everybody's different. There's a New Balance. What? New Balance? Oh, man. See, I, I just love this stuff. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I don't know why you would, but let me know if you have any questions down below or just want to say what's up. Say what's up in the comments and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you next time.